Good evening to all. It's my privilege that I am here to host the event. Myself, Anjun Boni, being a national chairman of all these organizations such as Government of Tripura Registered Society, Dasa India, and affiliated to Vipnet Vigyan Prasar, Department of Science and Technology. Government of India, the largest council of teachers, researchers, and involving scientists also, the National Council of Teacher Scientists, Researcher Teacher Scientists, and only platform who are loving science, being a student and willing to be a scientist of future India, the new India. Atmanirbhar India, the National Council of Student Scientists in India. Even this platform has been placed with the organizing sector, Science Writers Association of Tripura India also. Today is an auspicious day and today's evening we are going to celebrate, we are going to remember a personality to have a dream of Atmanirbhar Bharat, which is a dream, known dream of our well-known Prime Minister, Adhaniya Sri Narendra Modi ji also. In a different interpretation, I can say that Atmanirbhar Bharat concept has been inspired by this scientist, or great scientist of India, who not only regerminate, rediscover our national benefits in science and technology, also he stimulates, he inspires our scientists and not only scientists, our students also to be scientists for future India, to make this India, new India, Atmanirbhar Bharat. He is none other than the people's president, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Yes, today we are going to celebrate his birthday by remembering him and his works, his life. And not only remembering, we will discover him from the words of wisdom from our successful greatest Saints of India, living legend, Padmashri scientists, our dedicated scientists, ISRO scientists, DRDU scientists, and Vigyan Prasad scientists along with the saint from Ramakrishna Mission also. Before going forward, just a virtual inauguration and an introduction about today's program and today's so great scientist presence who will present their comments, who will share their words of wisdom, who will remember their working experience with Dr. Kalam and his simplicity and his science and technological thoughts. So it's just a simple a virtual inauguration on behalf of us.
Today we are going to celebrate the birth anniversary of Abdul Kalam, and also we are also announcing the global launch of first ever Science and Innovation Award to be conferred on 27 July every year during this Amrit Kal dedicated to APJ Abdul Kalam. The global launch of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam India International Student Scientist Second Innovation Award, which will be conferred on 2023 next year. And today is its launch on behalf of DASA India, the voluntary non profit organization under the registration of the government of Tripura, and also inspiration from National Council of Research and Teacher Scientists India, National Council of Students and Teachers India, and Science Writers Association of Tripura India. APJ Abdul Kalam, the people's president and a most inspiring scientist, today is his birthday. It was his dream, it is not that which you see while sleeping, it is something that does not let you sleep. Atmanirbhar Bharat, the most prominent dream of Abdul Kalam. It's been my privilege also to cover his program when he visited Agartala, being a, being the president of India during 2002. This is the 4th and 5th October, almost very recent time to his birth celebration. And he upgraded our Govindapallopan hospital at Agartala, the capital of Tripura towards its telemedicine with its telemedicine wing as well as super speciality building and I got the opportunity first time to meet him being after his deliver both of both in office for president of India and this is the cover study that was written by me for a newspaper in Bengali through telemedicine he talked with a patient whose name was also Abdul Kalam. So this headline is Kalam is talking with Kalam. Not only that, he used to write messages and inspiring messages and inspiring thoughts to everybody. When I was my school alumni, secretary he write one message to me but to publish in our first souvenir of school alumni on behalf of him from Rashtrapati Secretariat his press secretary sent this message to me and requested to uh, publish this message in book and inspire all the school students also it's a very asset to me very enriched asset to me and i kept this one so towards success to success is inspirational dream this event is 
now we are going to organize and celebrating this large group. With the permission of our all the scientists and educationists and our science guest, it's a simple virtual integration. Today we have with us most prominent scientists got and conferred Padmashri Award by the Ministry of Home, Government of India for his contribution to the nation. Padmashri Dr. Prahlad Ramarao sir, Koma scientist of ERDO, Ministry of Defense, Government of India. Sir will share his view with us. Sir worked with Dr. Kalam at DRDO and other office also and uh, being a missile man of India who is known to us Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Dr. Prala Dramarao sir designated Kalam sir as a guru and uh, Prala sir also contributed his quotes in the project of Agni, Prithvi and other missile projects. So welcome sir, we will take his address and remembrance on the subject today and about Kalam, Kalam simplicity, Kalam's working pattern, culture today and we get informed and inspired from him also. It's our privilege today we have with us Professor T.P. Sharma sir, respected professor of Department of Education, Science and Mathematics and great mathematician who is serving at National Council of Educational Research and Training and CERT, New Delhi, Government of India, Ministry of Education. Sir is serving at NCRT for 17 years and magnificent journey from his hometown Assam to Delhi. He have done MSc PhD Mathematics from University of Delhi and his work area of working is Mathematics education at school level. Development of teaching materials, teaching teacher training materials, textual materials, research in primary mathematics, mathematics education, mathematics, etc. He has a lots of research paper of in his own credit and also guided so many people in developing the research paper. He also uh, conducted so many mathematical conferences also under NCERT and even the this year he is the uh, head of science fair which has been organized by the NCRT also. Sir, we will join sometime before or later. Sir, welcome, sir. Dr. T.P. Sharma, Professor T.P. Sharma, sir. After a pure session, Bharat Bhai Chaniara sir, who is a Ishro scientist, former senior scientist of Ishro, he will join from USA, America, now he is at USA. Bharat Bhai Chaniara sir, graduated in electronics and communication engineering, initially served in three private firms and then joined Space Application Center ISRO, worked in ISRO for more than 35 years as a senior scientist. In ISRO, initially worked in satellite control center to manage the satellites in space, later on carried out extensive research and development work on latest technologies such as mobile, communication system, video conferencing system and tele to which are very specially 
tele education, we have contributed in a two set also, and telemedicine system, satellite based navigation system like GPS and various applications from common man using satellite technologies to fulfill responsibilities as project manager for tele education project that is associated with the EDUSET and Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS project. Served as an honorary faculty for Gujarat University, Center of United Nations and ISRO staff training program. Published two papers in international journal and wrote many technical reports, participated in two international conferences held at Singapore and Beijing, China, participant of ISRO Team Excellence, recipient of ISRO Team Excellence Award and Dr. C. V. Raman Award. He visited 16 countries like America and now he is also at America. He will join from America, European countries, Singapore, Dubai, etc. Now he is rendering many social services like coaching of students for poor community, organizing ISRO exhibition and delivering lectures on ISRO in schools and colleges, guiding guidance to the students of higher education in India and abroad and many services to the community. Welcome sir, ex-senior scientist of EDUSET from ISRO. It's our great privilege today we have with us Dr. Kapil Kumar Tripathi ji, scientist F from Vigyan Prasar, Government of India, Department of Science and Technology. सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि डॉक्टर त्रिपाठी जी हमारे लिए एक अभिभावक है इस कार्यक्रम के लिए भी विज्ञान प्रसार की ओर से क्योंकि हमारी कुछ संस्थाएं उन्हीं की तरफ से एपिलेटेड है सो वेलकम सर डॉक्टर कपिल के त्रिपाठी सर फ्रॉम विज्ञान प्रसार द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन डॉक्टर कपिल कुमार त्रिपाठी इज अ साइंटिस्ट नाउ वर्किंग फॉर मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस इंडिया साइंस ओ चैनल the only science communication and popularization channel of India under Vigyan Prasad Department of Science and Technology Government of India in collaboration with Udarshan Prasar Bharti. He has interested and expertise of toy designing for science communication and popularization under Vigyan Prasad Department of Science and Technology Government of India. He has contributed many research papers and reports. He is actively involved in writing popular articles and scientific columns in print media and also contributes as a subject expert in various electronic media also. He is, all, he is involved in publications and production of video, audio and video program on science and astronomy etc. scientific topics in Vigyan Prasad. He has conducted more than hundreds and two hundreds teachers, science communicators, students training program, workshops, activities and conferences for development of scientific attitude and empowerment also. Recently he has been honored with Rashtra Bhasha Samman in 2000, year 2022 also. He has been awarded with different prestigious awards also and also he is contributing being a member of different committees. He represented India in international conferences. He is a oil share and inspiration for our National Council of Researcher Teacher Scientists and National Council of Student Scientists India, the Bipnet Clubs under his guidance. So welcome sir. Dr. Kapil Tripathi, sir, scientist F, Vigyan Prasad, Government of India, Department of Science and Technology. We will be blessed with the presence of Swami Nikhilesh Anandiji Maharaj, respected Adhyaksha Maharaj from Sri Ramakrishna Ashram, Sri Ramakrishna Martin Mission, Rajkot, Gujarat. Sir will, uh, Maharaj will uh, deliver his address and give a brief uh, 
note on his involvement, on his interaction, on his relationship with Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Several times he met Kalam sir. This is the second, 22nd August 2006 at Rast of the Bhavan, handing over the first copy of book Indoramatively Spirit, Indoramatively Spirit, published by Ram Krishna Mission Vivekananda Memorial, Urbandar, based on his talk delivered on 12 January 2006 at Urbandar while inaugurating Vivekananda Institute of Value Education and Culture, Vivek, B I V E C. Not only that, different time. He also shared dias with respected Kalam sir, being a scientist, being a president of India. Maharaj will share his experience on Kalam sir. Maharaj also involved with the thoughts of and our honorable prime minister. Adhaniya Sri Narendra Modi ji. Different time he meet Modi sir and given some token mementos to respected Modi sir. So it will be a great privilege for us, all of us, we will hear some experience and some great moments, great thoughts, great inspirational ideas from Swami Nikhilesh Ji Maharaj. In presence of all of them, this is a virtual inspiration for a moment.
थैंक यू सर नाउ वी विल गो फॉरवर्ड हियर वी हैव ऑल द आवर डिग्नेटरीज विद अस प्रहलाद रामराव सर सीनियर साइंटिस्ट भारत भाई चालियार सर फ्रॉम यूएसए इसरो साइंटिस्ट एंड आल्सो मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड मुकेश रणनंद जी महाराज वेलकम सर नमस्कार सर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स एंड सो मेनी टीचर्स आर आल्सो विद अस इन आवर सोशल मीडियाज दे आर वेटिंग फॉर दिस टू एंजॉय एंड टू लिसन ऑल ऑफ योर वर्ड्स ऑफ विजडम सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर सेशन सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रहलाद रामाराव सर पद्मश्री डॉक्टर प्रहलाद रामाराव सर फ्रॉम इसरो डी आर डी ओ सर कैन आई स्टार्ट अंजन सर यस सर यस सर या बट सर यू आई डोंट नो हाउ शी माय your uh, my, camera is not working sir i don't know my it was working suddenly it has become still i don't know what to do oh it was uh, remember okay, sir, I, i was talking to you it was uh, it was active no my but uh, moving i don't know what to do what i should do oh. how to make it move i don't know why she is coming but it, Do something. You ask somebody. Or tell me what I should do. I will do it. Sir, uh, can you do? Uh, can you uh, join again, sir? Log in again. I I I will do it. Eh? But again, it goes. The second time I am doing it. Oh, it comes for some time and then freezes. Okay, sir. You Once just I will try. Out. I will try. I will try once more. But you ask somebody, hmm. IT person, what I should do. Ah. Eh? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I will join now once more. Switch off and switch on. But you ask hmm. any IT person what I should do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 By this time, sir. Uh, so we are uh, taking. moment uh, it 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 one uh, technical issue has been occurred so by this time i would like to uh, declare that also that we from on from today we are launching the award also and uh, here bottom in at the bottom line we are displaying one link google form link and through this link uh, anyone interested student who have their own innovations Uh, for teachers who can inspire also students uh, to get enrolled um, through this google form and uh, register for this award with all the details of his innovations uh at this time i would like to invite uh swami nikhileshwar anand ji maharaj maharaj ji are you here maharaj ji hello hello ha ah, maharaj ji प्रणाम 
Okay. okay. Only you, you must tell me when I have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Because I can talk hours for together on this topic. So you have to yes. call to tell me that now you please stop. We have other speakers. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. sure. <clears throat> एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट डॉक्टर कलाम फ्रॉम padmashri dr prahlad ramarao sir who worked for a long time under his blessings and uh, in the very most prestigious mission that is uh, project agni missile project prithvi missile etc so we are uh, taking his words of wisdom please prahlad sir okay yeah namaskar namaskar for all the people who are who are important people who are available on the channel and uh, and i see a lot number of students are uh, commenting joining from all over the country so my best wishes and greetings to all the children students because kalam was one who was uh, uh, for the students he used to wherever students are there he used to go talk to them meet them he has addressed the lakhs and lakhs of students in thousands of colleges in the country and i i hope some students who have met him personally physically are available online today and uh, and he i worked with dr kalam for almost 30 years continuously and uh, and he was my boss of course kalam is i am not your boss Uh, he was my friend he was my guru he was my teacher he was my brother he was my leader he was my role model so all uh, aspects of kalam i have seen and uh, it i really miss but uh, today is a great day birthday and it is very apt to remember him his contribution and his messages especially for children school children school going children and uh, i want to tell you there are whenever kalam used to go and uh, me go to any school all children will tell their parents i am going to meet kalam so many children who would not go to school will attend because to to meet kalam they if the I mean there are children who are down with fever but the, and the mother will say don't go you are having fever but the child will say no 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 kalam is coming i have to go so he will not he will ignore his mother and no manage to go to school there is a kind of a link and vibration kalam had expressed so i want to share with you what kalam would have told you today all children available and uh, i believe some faculty members teachers are also online my greetings to all the children teachers because is the teacher who will shape the school children at least the school time up to 12th standard teacher influences the students more than the parents they are there in the school for almost a whole day and uh, children when they are at home they are sleeping or playing they are not uh, really available for parents to correct them advise them talk to them very difficult and uh, whereas the teacher are there for almost uh, eight hours in a day so it is the teachers who shape the children especially school children so I, i want the teachers and students online today available here in the video conferencing to understand the role being played by children the role being played by teachers and how they work together together to make india a great india make your life a great life not an ordinary life you know what is important to note is this age of your children 
they were all in the age bracket of around 10 to 15 years and uh, you have would have seen that kalam talking I mean the government of india talking amrut kalam it is 19 uh, 20 to 2022 to 2047 when we when we finish our 100 years of independence we are calling amrut kalam and uh, this is the time when all you students, you children, will be the most important players in the country to make India great in this Amrut Kaal. This is the next 25 years is the age which you will be enjoying, contributing, learning, working and also doing fantastic things. So the Amrut Kaal is meant for children of your age. So please remember that. Now what are your special the children when you say when you say you have to know that you may not realize it. children may not realize but we elders, parents, teachers know that you are full of energy, vitality, strength, yeah, learning capability. So as you grow older and older your learning capability will come down. Then all your faculties, that is your Panchendriyas, will be working most efficiently. My grandson keeps on telling, oh, the grandfather, you will, you cannot hear what I can hear because his hearing is much better than mine. And his seeing is better than mine. His response is better than mine. So I see that you young people can change India, can change the world. All you have to, you can do, you can change India, change the world. How you can do, you have to understand. First is your capability is fantastic. Don't say that I am tired. I am, well, I am, my leg is paining, my hand is paining. It is not correct. Because God has given you enormous capability to learn, to do work, to do things which we you know, older people cannot do. Then also, you got another fantastic characteristic which we would have forgotten. That is, your how and why. You have gone asking questions. How does it work? Why will it to tell you? Why I should follow it? Why government is doing? Why somebody is doing? How he is doing? Why? Like that, you have got lots of questions. Anything you see, you will ask how and why. This is your biggest strength. Please, we sometimes parents are we get upset. Are you are asking too many questions. No, in fact, we elders, teachers, parents should encourage children to ask more why and more how. More why, more how. We may not, we may not know the, all the answers, but we should make attempt to find answers for all the knows and all the whys raised by the children. This is the their curiosity to learn things are there. So we people, elderly people, should re remember this. Go on allowing children to ask questions, learn. And if they, if you do not know, they will find out slowly, they will learn or on their on themselves. So better is allow them to learn. Another thing they have to understand is ethics. Ethics. See, we have to teach as the teachers ethics, good moral behavior, ethics, what is good, what is not good, what you should do, what you should not do, what you should say, what you should not say, and what you should think, what you should not think. Like that, this is the parent's responsibility and teacher's responsibility to inculcate in the young children the characteristics, that is the curiosity should be supported, encouraged, and addressed. This is what uh, uh, Kalam used to do. I remember I was in Hyderabad working with him in Kalam in Hyderabad as a scientist. Kalam was uh, my director and he was my boss. So uh, every day a lot of letters used to come by post to Kalam. Like uh, Bob, Bob, Anjan Banik told, uh, he will write a letter to Kalam, Kalam will send a reply. Like that, Kalam every day the postman will come to Kalam's office and give one bundle of letters, some 20 letters, 30 letters. And many letters, some are in English, 
some are in Hindi, some are in Urdu, some are in Kannada, all languages. So Kalam, you will be not knowing what to do. So he will give to people. He has given me many letters which are in Hindi and in English. Other language he give to other people. Kannada also he used to give me. So he will tell me, Prahlad, you go through this letter, write, tell me what the student has written. And uh, I used to read very amazing letters, very fantastic letters. Children used to write to Kalam. See, Kalam is a established engineer, director, project director, program director, and a big man. But students are 10th standard, 8th standard students. They will write to Kalam. Kalam, I have got some idea. I want to tell you how to how the next missile can be made. How I can do, I want to come and join you and make the next aircraft. Like that, he will, they will write. Children will write. So, he will listen to all the, all their letters and uh, tell me, hey, Prala, you make a reply. So, tell me what I should write. He is a child, 10th standard. He wants to come and work for missiles. What you can write? <laughs> so, he said, no, 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 don't worry. You write to him. Like that, he will give answer. You write to him, you are 10th standard. Please study well. And moment you get your degree, you come. And while doing degree itself, you start reading about missile, rocket, tank, submarine, ships, radar, you read. And come, I will take you, I will give you a job so that you can work for defense. So he used to make letter and write to them. And uh, you believe it or not, he will reply to all the letters. Hundreds of letters he will reply. And uh, you know, he has no Saturday, Sunday, holiday, nothing. So wherever Saturday, Sunday, he will sit and uh, so he say, you make the reply, I will write or I will sign. Then he will sign and give to post, you send by post. Because these children will always give their postal address. Somehow they know that they want to get a reply from Kalam, they have to give their house address. So they will all give house address. I have, I have sent replies to thousands of children and many have come, come back to Hyderabad after their degree. And joined. They have come back, sir. You wrote a letter five years ago, eight years ago. I have come back. Please give me some work. So many have come back after eight years. And uh, I used to be amazed at his patience to listen to young children, understand their concern, understand their question, try to answer such a way that they are happy. They get convinced. And you know, a very interesting thing I used to see one fellow will write from Calcutta. Calcutta, he will write to Abdul Kalam, Hyderabad. That's all. The postal address is on a letter, sometimes postcard, sometimes inland letter. He will write only two lines to Abdul Kalam, Hyderabad. No postal address, no pin code, nothing. And, uh, and I was also equally surprised by the post office who collect all those letters of Abdul Kalam, bring it to his office and hand over to him without any postal address. This was really fantastic. The entire postal department knew Abdul Kalam Hyderabad and any letter come from anywhere from India which is near to Hyderabad, <laughs> Hyderabad, they will put in a bag, bring it, give it to Kalam's office. This was a fantastic equation between the children and Abdul Kalam. So, I want to share with you. Now, another thing is, one I told you, your learning capability. Then I told you ethics. Third is value. See, your value system, In uh, unfortunately, uh, as you grow older and older, you get into all problems and challenges of the world. You slowly start losing the importance of a value system. Value of a teacher, value of your school, value of the book, value of water, clean water, clean air, you will start not appreciating that. But I want you to inculcate right from beginning value of, you know, especially India as a country with our history of thousands of years, we value everything. We value our rivers, we value our trees, we value our uh, water drink, uh, drinking oceans. We value all the plants, the fruits, the the the, the, um, the we the, even the leaves and roots and soil. So we value all of them, and because we value so much, uh, 
and our uh, ancestors used to say that they are like God. So you worship. So you go and worship at plants like Tulsi plant or a jasmine plant or you worship a river because river is giving you clean water, drinking water and fresh water. So so the, the concept of considering whatever is available to you from nature as a God-given gift is there. That is where the value system has come from our Vedic knowledge, Vedic science or our ancestors are given. It is not that God is sitting in a well or God is sitting in a plant or a leaf or a flower. It shows that God's creation is so fantastic. You, you should not disturb. You should not destroy. You should allow it to continue. Now, this has been realized. We realized thousands of years ago. Today, the world, the whole world is realizing the importance of nature. Now, they are telling, please respect environment. Don't spoil water. Don't pollute air. Now they are telling, which we told thousands of years ago, they are all very important. Now they are telling, use organic materials, don't you? Uh, like that, uh, and we worshipped sun, you know, sun. Now they say solar, solar energy is very important because let us get the sun, solar energy. We used to say that in the form of sun as a god. People now say solar as an energy source, let us tap. Same thing, the spirit is the same. That is respect, sun, solar energy, its radiation, its heat, its light and its spectrum of radiation. So, this is what, uh, we are, this is called the value, value of nature, all natural things important. We have to appreciate as a young children, if this age bracket, if it enters your mind, your brain, throughout your life, you will enjoy Plus, you will learn and you will never do wrong things. And uh, then comes the other things is science. See, we, though, you know, you, you go to, I have read a lot of books and uh, literature and uh, from the thousands of years ago, Vedas, Pura, you know, Puranas and uh, Upanishads, I have read a number of books. Now, everywhere I see that People are describing things, you are in, in Samskrita, of course, and everywhere there is a link with science. It is not that it is only philosophy of only worshipping. People have realized that when you go to a temple, the temple construction, temple architecture, temple how it is, what is inside, why, is all scientifically analyzed and then built. Similarly, you want to do something like uh, uh, the festival. You are all now celebrating uh, the Sara festival, finished and ready to do festival of Deepavali. Last Dasara, I was in uh, Tripura. I am in myself, my wife, both of us were in Tripura. And we thoroughly enjoyed the celebrations of children and families in Tripura. During Dasara, we were there and we had a very fantastic experience. We will never forget. Now, what is the science behind? See, we once you read, read all our literature, we can understand that anything we do was having a basis of science. What we eat, what we drink, how we talk, you know, each is scientifically uh, created, analyzed and Put down. Unfortunately, the we the, the books uh, which contain these things we have lost. Or in our um, uh, 200 years of Mughal period, 200 years of uh, British period, many many of our scripture, literature, books, granthas have been taken away, destroyed, or taken or completely robbed. So we have lost. A lot of important information. But uh, many people like me are re trying to recreate those things. Our own, uh, what was the science and technology they had understood. And that is how we are able to survive. Even today, people are 
அமேஸ்ட் அட் அவர் நாலேஜ் ஆஃப் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் வெரி வி கிரியேட்டட் தி டிஜிட்டல் சிஸ்டம் ஜீரோ பேஸ்ட் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் வி ஹேட் ஈக்வேஷன் சால்வ் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் ஈக்வேஷன்ஸ் கேல்குலஸ் தௌசண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இயர்ஸ் அகோ அண்ட் அவர் அஸ்ட்ராலஜி வாஸ் ஃபென்டாஸ்டிக் தட் இஸ் வி ஆர் ஈவன் டுடே பட் எவ்ரிபடி சர்ப்ரைஸ் ஹவு வி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ப்ரெடிக்ட் சோலார் எக்ளிப்ஸ் அண்ட் லூலார் எக்ளிப்ஸ் வித்தவுட் ஹேவிங் எனி மாடர்ன் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் you know uh, people are surprised how the hell uh, indian people our uh, were able to find out when is the lunar eclipse to the accuracy of minutes is is a is an amazing scientific knowledge we had similarly for ayurveda for health care or for food or for anything how it used to wonder it is all amazing so the science and technology of our ancient knowledge we have to as young children you should see how to nurture it how to understand it how to take it forward then the coming to kalam's characteristics other than these things what i told you is his leadership national feeling and integration these are three things which are uniquely propounded by dr kalam his leadership he was behaving like a true leader not you know political leader he was behaving like a leader for the masses leader for children leader for scientists leader for lawyers leader for swami ji many swami ji used to discuss with them and so how he can think of how the spirituality can help the country so leadership is one we have i have learned a lot of it from that uh, kalam the another thing he i say integration i was just now telling anjan bonik how he used to integrate five 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 elements of the our in the country one is the uh, integration of uh, all the scientific uh, people like uh, science and technology whoever is uh, dealing with all scientific people then academy all the teachers faculty universities all academy then all the politicians who are going to be the mass leaders then all the, the the healthcare people who talk about the health and then all the people who are the literature people he would integrate all of them and i have not seen anybody integrating people like such a broad spectrum of people to do what the purpose is building the nation building india been making india great so that integration concept and integration cannot be done without team work so he used to make the teams come together think together analyze together find an answer together so this is how, the only way he said india will grow and that is how he made the missile program a big success we are able to make any type of missile because we have learned from him team work work together multidisciplinary multi domain find a solution and so one once you are given a project i remember kalam used to say who is your boss you will ask a question somebody will say sir you are my boss you are the project director your director no 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 your boss is your project which is your project akash oh akash missile is your project you do you work for akash missile you don't work for kalam you are work you are making brahmos missile brahmos is your boss you make brahmos successful don't make kalam successful brahmos successful kalam automatic successful so i used to say your project is your boss your country is your god that's all he used to say work for the country work for the project so there is amazing uh, thinking that what he had and i have i am ever grateful for you getting imbibed from him because i was so closely working with him day and night and you know i used to have many times i have ended up midnight walking that is at night 12 o'clock go for a walk with kalam in the night in delhi in hyderabad go discuss from night 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock on the road walking i mean it is an amazing experience and i can never forget i am one of the fellows who miss miss him every day and i i wish you were there india would have done still bigger thing still better better things and all but the responsibility now 
is you have to understand you children you have to take the next mantle the responsibility of making the world happy in india successful india great and everybody happy healthy is left to you and teachers all teachers who are online to help the students realize their power realize this thing. this is what i thought i will share with you i don't know anjan time sir. is sufficient okay sir for uh, sharing your experience i think our time is so little uh, <laughs> it, it is a big, great learning and listening also but as we uh, have designed our program so we will yeah. take uh, all the uh, guest uh, address uh, so sir uh, for this time uh, it's 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 it's, it's, it's uh, closing to you uh, yeah. we have with us now uh, most um, prominent personalities Namaste. such as such as i uh, want to, i want to greet all our friends online and uh, i am wishing them also all the best and happy deepavali be wishes from my side and my family side and uh, and i am sure uh, with the help of all of us we make our children uh, go through this same amrit kal in 25 years they should make india great india make people happy people thank you namaskar 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 sir namaskar thank you sir sir uh, uh, now uh, i would like to invite uh, for a few uh, words of wisdom from as per our sequence uh, from uh, our most uh, our guardian like scientist for to this uh, webnet organization uh, from vigyan prasad department of science and technology dr kapil tripathi scientist f sir welcome sir uh, sir is with us Uh, sir please share your uh, views and give a blessings to this event also sir and next we will take from uh, swami nikhilesharanand ji maharaj kapil tripathi sir uh, namaskar ji aawaaz aa rahi hai aap logo ko aawaaz aa rahi hai ha sir ha sir ha sir ha sir ha sir aap sabse pehle to aap sabhi logon ko bahut bahut shubhkamnaye ki aapne bahut hi acha ek program design kiya hai to iske piche जो भी लोग हैं ऑर्गेनाइजर और जो भी लोगों का विचार रहा है उन सभी लोगों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और शुभकामनाएं और इसके लिए जैसा कि मुझे बताया गया कि नेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ रिसर्च टीचर साइंटिस्ट और हमारा दशा इंडिया द्वारा जो ये प्रोग्राम कलाम जी के बर्थडे के दिन हम इसको स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं तो ये अच्छे एक उद्देश्य के साथ सभी बच्चों तक सभी टीचर्स तक और सभी ऑडियंस तक पहुंचे और उनके जो कलाम साहब का जीवन रहा है उससे लोग इंस्पायर्ड हों इसी शुभकामनाओं के साथ आप सभी जो इस दर्शक इस प्रोग्राम को सुन रहे हैं उनको शुभकामनाएं और जैसा कि मैं अभी सुन रहा था कि बहुत अच्छी बात बताई गई डॉक्टर प्रहला नंदा रामा राव द्वारा और उन्होंने जैसे कि इम्फेसिस किया कलाम जी के व्यक्तित्व के बारे में पर्सनालिटी के बारे में और उनका एक लगाव जो बच्चों के बीच उनका लगाव था उसके बारे में उन्होंने अपना विचार व्यक्त किए और उनका जो जीवन है हमें हम देखा जाए तो हमें ये दिखाता है कि हम कोई भी फील्ड में काम करें तो एक पूरे लगन से हार्ड वर्क से करें और उसमें आपका हंड्रेड इनपुट होना चाहिए जिससे कि वो उस फील्ड में सफल हो पाए आपने आ, कलाम साहब को देखा होगा कि एक डिफेंस साइंटिस्ट के रूप में जो डिफेंस लेबोरेटरी में काम कर रहे थे तब उन्होंने अग्नि और पृथ्वी मिसाइल में काम किया जब वो इसरो डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस में थे तब उन्होंने वहाँ पर रॉकेट प्रौद्योगिकी और जैसे हम रॉकेट टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में आ, एक ऊँचाइयों तक हमारे देश को ले गए इसी तरह जब वो एटॉमिक के फील्ड में थे जब ने हम सब लोग जानते हैं कि जो पोखरण जो परमाणु विस्फोट किया गया उसमें भी उनका लीडरशिप थी और उनके नेतृत्व में ये हमने सफलतम प्रयोग किया और उसके बाद जब वो राष्ट्रपति बने तो भी वो बच्चों के बीच में और आम जनता के बीच में उतने ही लोकप्रिय हुए जो ये दर्शाता है कि उनका व्यक्तित्व उनका हार्डवर्क और हर चीज़ के प्रति उनका सम्मान तो 
ये ये हमारे सभी लोगों और बच्चों के लिए विशेषकर एक प्रेरणा देता है और जैसा कि आज हम सभी लोग जानते हैं कि अब्दुल कलाम ने जब इसरो में काम कर रहे थे तो उनको ऐसा नहीं है कि हर बार उनको सफलता ही मिली हो पहले प्रयास में उन्हें असफलता मिली और लेकिन उसको भी उन्होंने पॉजिटिव ढंग से लिखा और उन्होंने बाद में जो कोट लिखे उनके लिए नो का मतलब था नेक्स्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी तो इस तरह एंड का मतलब था एफर्ट्स नेवर डाई तो इस तरह के जो कोट्स कोट्स थे वो हम सभी लोगों को काफ़ी प्रभावित करते हैं और हम कह सकते हैं कि उन्होंने अपने आ, हर फील्ड में आ, एक नाम कमाया और देश को बहुत ऊंचाइयों तक ले गए और हमारे सभी लोगों के लिए एक प्रेरणा सूत्र बने और यही कारण था कि इसमें से बहुत कम लोग जानते हैं कि आ, कि उनके नाम पर जब अराउंड नासा ने एक एरोबिक बैक्टीरिया था जो डिस्कवर किया गया उनके नाम के उनके नाम के आधार पर रखा इसी तरह बंगाल में वेस्ट बंगाल में शायद 2018 में एक नई प्लांट स्पीसीज खोजी गई तो उसका नाम भी आ, हमें कलाम के नाम पे दिया गया और इसके बाद 2015 में एक वी, वीलर आइसलैंड है जो जहाँ पर नेशनल मिसाइल टेस्ट हुआ था उड़ीसा में वो उनके नाम पर आ, रखा गया तो ये सभी चीज़ें हमको दिखाती हैं और हमको एक नया रास्ता प्रशस्त करती हैं और उनका आ, जीवन और बच्चों के लिए ये और टीचर्स के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि हम सभी लोगों को अगर हम राष्ट्र को निर्माण में अपनी भूमिका देना करना चाहते हैं तो हमको अपनी परफॉर्मेंस पे बढ़ाना होगा जैसा कि हमें अब्दुल कलाम के विभिन्न जो राइटिंग में देखने को मिलता है उन्होंने परफॉर्मेंस को बहुत इम्प्रेसिस किया और उसमें उनके जब परफॉर्मेंस को जब उन्होंने डिफाइन किया तो उन्होंने बताया कि परफॉर्मेंस में ज़रूरी है कि नॉलेज होना चाहिए स्किल और सॉरी स्किल और मोटिवेशन दोनों को जब हम मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं तो वो परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ती है और हम इंडिविजुअल अपनी परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ाता है तो निश्चित रूप से कंट्री की परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ती है तो यही जो हमारा हम जो हम एक विकसित भारत की परिकल्पना करके आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और जैसा कि करेंट में भी मोदी साहब भी इस पर फेसिस कर रहे हैं कि हमें आत्मनिर्भर बनना है हमें इस तरह से काम करना है कि लोकल फॉर वोकल जो हमें देखना पड़ेगा कि हमारी आवश्यकताएं क्या हैं और उसके लिए हमारी क्या तैयारियां हैं हमारे क्या सोल्यूशन्स हैं उस पर हमें काम करना होगा और हमें आज हम कहते हैं कि व्हाट इज साइंस पे ना हटके व्हाट इज द पर्पज ऑफ साइंस पर्पज हम क्यों साइंस पढ़ रहे हैं हमारा आ, क्या उद्देश्य है साइंस पढ़ने का तो निश्चित रूप से अगर हम उनको समराइज करें तो हम देखेंगे कि वी हैव टेकिंग सो मच ऑन फ्रॉम आवर मदर अर्थ आज हमारी ड्यूटी है कि हम उसको अपनी नॉलेज और स्किल से वापस दें तभी हम उसको हम अपनी मदर अर्थ को एक आ, आ, अपना जो जितना भी हमने रिसोर्सों का दोहन किया है उसको हम लौटा पाएंगे तभी आज सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट की बात होती है तभी हम आ, कहते हैं कि हम अपनी नॉलेज और स्किल से अपने रिसोर्सों का ऐसा यूज़ करें कि जो हमने उसका उपयोग किया है वो हम अपनी मदद को वापस दे पाए और ये तभी संभव है जब हम नॉलेज हमारे पास में होगी स्किल हमारे पास में होगी और हमारे पास आ, जब ये होगा तो निश्चित रूप से हमारी परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ेगी और हमें आगे ले जाना है दूसरा सबसे बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट आया अगर आप पिछला देखें आज़ादी के अमृत महोत्सव काल में हम ये भी चर्चा कर रहे हैं कि किन 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 परिस्थितियों में हमारे जो वैज्ञानिक थे उन्होंने अपनी सेल्फ टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप की जब हमारे ऊपर बहुत सारे प्रतिबंध लगा दिए गए तब हमने उन पर काम किया और आपने देखा होगा कि पोखरण में बहुत सारा सेंक्शन लगाया गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट हमारे इंडियन गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर दूसरे कंट्रियों में हम उससे भी निकल के आए इसी तरह सुपर कंप्यूटर जब कंट्री ने देने को मना किया आ, अमेरिका ने तब हमने अपना परम कंप्यूटर डेवलप किया तो ये हमारे प्रतिबद्धता को दिखाता है कि हम आ, आ, किस तरह हमने विभिन्न परिस्थितियों में अपनी टेक्नोलॉजी को डेवलप किया जहाँ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी का हम कहते हैं कि टेक्नोलॉजी इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ साइंस तो इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि जब हम पूरी हम जीडीपी की बात करते हैं अर्थव्यवस्था की बात करते हैं तो वहाँ टेक्नोलॉजी इम्पॉर्टेंट हो जाता है 
क्योंकि जब हमारे पास टेक्नोलॉजी होगी हम दूसरे कंट्रीज को देंगे तो निश्चित रूप से हमारी जीडीपी बढ़ेगी और हम अपना पूरे वर्ल्ड में अपनी एक पोजीशन दूसरे कंट्रीज को बता पाएंगे कि हमारी स्थिति है हमारे पास ये टैलेंट है तो हमें ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी पे काम करना है जो आ, हमारे कंडीशन के हिसाब से हो जो और दूसरा हम उसको एफोर्ड कर पाए तो आप सभी आ, बच्चों से यही रिक्वेस्ट है कि आप अपने आइडियाज को अपने ऑब्जर्वेशन को बहुत सटीक रखें और देखें अपने सराउंडिंग में क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं और उसको हम अपनी नॉलेज और स्किल से क्या सलूशन दे सकते हैं आपको इनोवेशन की ओर बढ़ना पड़ेगा और आप जिस फील्ड में हो वहाँ पर इनोवेट इनोवेशन करें नए नए आइडियाज पे काम करें जिससे कि हम अपनी सोसाइटी को सलूशन दे पाए और यही सबसे बड़ी आज के दिन में कह पाऊंगा कि अब्दुल कलाम सर को हमारी तरफ से एक बहुत बड़ा एक कंट्रीब्यूशन होगा अगर हम इस संबंध में काम करते हैं तो इसी शब्दों के साथ में इसी आशा के साथ में कि हम सब लोग इसी काम में आ, काम करेंगे और जो अमृत काल का समय है जो अगले 25 साल का जो रोड मैप तैयार किया जा रहा है और हमारे युवा वर्ग पर सबसे ज़्यादा रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आने वाली है और हम इस अमृत काल में बहुत अच्छा काम करके अपने अपने क्षेत्रों में एक वर्चस्व दिखाकर हम राष्ट्र को एक विकसित देश बनाने की ओर जरूर ले जाएंगे और यही हम आज अब्दुल कलाम के सर के इस जन्मदिवस पर हम ये एक शपथ हमको लेना चाहिए हम लेते हैं और हम इसको आगे ले जाएंगे इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ मैं अपनी बात समाप्त करता हूं और और जो भी दर्शक गण इस प्रोग्राम को सुन रहे हैं और उन सब लोगों का आभार व्यक्त करते हैं और आपने सुना और निश्चित रूप से आप इस दिशा में ज़रूर सोचेंगे और निश्चित रूप से कुछ नया करके अपने अपने क्षेत्र में कुछ नया करेंगे धन्यवाद थैंक यू धन्यवाद सर ये हमारे लिए बहुत ही सौभाग्य का बात है कि आज हमारे असली हमने कपिल त्रिपाठी जी को हम लोग विज्ञान के प्रचार प्रसार की दुनिया में गुरु जैसे मानते हैं और वो है भी गार्जियन जैसे इस हमारे मंच की ओर से और बारी बारी उनसे हमें प्रेरणा भी मिलता रहा है आज इस मंच को उनका एक बार फिर से प्रेरणा मिला मोटिवेशन मिला उनका आशीर्वचन मिला इसलिए हम तहे दिल से उनको शुक्रगुजार है सर आप इस तरह से हमसे बने रहिएगा थैंक यू सर बहुत 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 सर थोड़ा देर और भी बने रहिए क्योंकि ये प्रहलाद राव जी के बाद हम अभी जिसको जिनके प्रबल व्याख्यान सुनने जा रहा है वो भी एक अनूठी चीज है सर इट्स आवर प्रिविलेज टू वी हैव वी दस वन मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट सैंड फ्रॉम राम कृष्ण मार्ट एंड मिशन uh uh mai ek i would like to share one thing this is the this one book uh, by dr apj abdul kalam himself ignite ignited minds and in this uh, book uh, if we go through uh, uh, he has di- discussed his about his life from his students from his uh, neighbors onwards he discuss about his scientists friends and even uh, in later life when he was uh, president of india people's president uh, he discussed with uh, the about the political leaders also but only one uh, thing which is uh, most uh, promising that is he has discussed only one personalities from our saint group of uh, community and in if we i, I am just reading the page uh, 76 Kalam is writing. I was at Christ College, Rajkot, getting ready for a function. There, when there was a call from Swami Nikleshwar Ananda from Ram Krishna Mission. Yes, Swami Nikleshwar Ananda from Ram Krishna Mission. Swami ji requested me to visit his ashram, and I had a, to agree. after the function of at christ college i rushed to the ashram it was the time for the evening bhajan and so touched was i by so touched was i by the singers screen you know invocation 
that I sat down with them for nearly 15 minutes, lost in meditation. Here, to, here too, I felt the same vibration as I did while meditating at Swami Vivekananda Hell, Purbandar, the birthplace of Mahatma Gandhi. And at different line, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam discussed about the only one saint throughout the history of India. He is none, none other than our most respected Swami Nikhilesha Ranandaji Maharaj. So I would like to invite Swami Nikhilesha Ranandaji Maharaj to tell and to share his words of wisdom, especially his time which he uh, paired with our most respected uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Over to Swami Nikhilesha Ranandaji Maharaj. Swami. Namaskar. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu, Ma Kashi Dukhubhag Bhavet. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Dear friends, <clears throat> I am extremely happy to meet all of you online. Whosoever they are joining online, I send my greetings, I convey my best wishes, and I convey my best wishes for the forthcoming Deepavali celebration. In the, out, in the outset, I am very much thankful to the organizers for giving me this opportunity of sharing my memories with Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam on his birthday. It's a great opportunity because I really miss him today. I really miss him. We had so many meetings. We traveled together by car, by flight, and we had so nice discussions. I remember all that on this day, on his birthday. So it's a great privilege for me to share some of the memories with you. Just now, as you heard, what he wrote in the book, Ignited Minds, I'll start with that. You know, when I heard that Dr. Kalam had retired from DRDO and was now engaged in meeting the youngsters in all over the country for igniting them, I was very much impressed because Swami Vivekananda said, my faith is in the younger generation, the modern generation. Out of them will come the workers. And here is a man who is also trying to ignite the young minds for making India a developed country by 2020. I came across his book also, India 2020, a vision of the new millennium. And there I found he was talking with facts and figures about the, uh, the, the developed India that, that may come up with, within a few years. So that became very, book became very handy for me because whenever I used to talk to the youngsters, I've gone to hundreds of education institutions, talking to thousands of students all over the country for the last 30 years. Whenever I would tell them that Swami Vivekan said that India will become great, it will become so great that his past glory will fade into insignificance. He was not an astrologer, he was a visionary. And whatever he said has come true. So this also will come true that India will become a superpower. Nobody believed me at that time. But now this book was handy for me when a scientist like Dr. Kalam, facts and figures is telling, yes, India can become a developed country and in no distant future. So that's why I was very curious. So I thought, since he is already spreading indirectly the message of Swami Vivekan, I should uh, give some books of Swami Vivekan to him, gift him, and that will enrich his knowledge and that will make him more inspired and more enthusiastic uh, in his uh, great mission of life. And uh, let him come in touch with the great thoughts of Swami Vivekananda. 
because he was a visionary. He has given the solutions to all the problems that we are facing today in the nation. So I wanted him to come in contact with Swami Vivekananda. So I was looking for an opportunity. Then I got his number and I telephoned. Then I told, I want to talk to Dr. Kalam. Then Dr. Kalam said, I am Dr. Kalam speaking. <laughs> I thought his PA must be speaking. But he directly picked up the phone. And then uh, I told him that, uh, you see, we have, uh, there was an earthquake on 26 January 2001, as you know, in Gujarat. So as is the tradition, Ramakrishna Misha started relief work and uh, we spent about 20 crores of rupees in uh, constructing 81 school buildings and six colonies in Gujarat. Out of it, 37 were constructed and three colonies were constructed in Port Bandar and I was the head of Port, Port Bandar Center that time. So I told him that I would like that you inaugurate one of the school buildings and address the youth. So he said, yes, Swamiji, I will come, I will come. Like that two, three times I told, but all the two times, Swamiji, I am very busy. Then I heard that Dr. Kalam has come to Rajkot. He is going to come to Rajkot on 25th December 2001 in connection with a function in Christ College. So I took that opportunity. I came from Porbandar to Rajkot, our ashrama, and sent a message to him. Dr. Kalam, I have come all the way from Porbandar to Rajkot to give you personal invitation for coming to Porbandar. Where can I meet you? Whether at the airport or at your place of residence. Just see his humility. What a great personality. What a great man. And he is so much humble. He sent a message to me. Swamiji, you are a monk. I should come to meet you. And really he came on his way to the airport, without our invitation, he came to the ashrama, then we showed him the exhibition and then Swamiji, he, he asked Swamiji, they are telling you can't become a monk because you are not married. Is it so? I was perplexed because in our order, if you want to become a monk, you should be unmarried. And here he is telling that because you are not married, you can't become a monk. I could understand. What was the problem? So since he was getting late for going to the flight, I said, in a, I give a short reply. You see, Dr. Kalam, there are two types of flight. One is a hopping flight, Brahmacharya Ashram, then Grihastha Ashram, then Vanaprastha Ashram, and then Sanyas Ashram. But if that is though, then you must go through, the, you must become a householder, then Vanaprastha and then Sanyas. But there is another direct flight also from Brahmacharya Ashram to Sanyas Ashram. And we, the mouse of Ramakrishna order, have taken the direct flight. And Dr. Kalam, so simple, he say he becomes so happy. Okay, okay, sir, Swamiji, I will also take direct flight. <laughs> then we told you are already a mom. You see, the dress does not make a mom because the Gita says your unselfish service makes you mom. And you are already mom. So he was still more happy. Then we asked him whether he would like to go to the temple. He said, Yes, Swamiji, yes, sir. At that time, it was evening time. So it was the Vesper service was going on, evening RT was going on. So what we thought that we should, we will not disturb the people who are sitting there in RT. At the same time, he is getting late for the, for going to the airport. So we took him just outside. And we took him, uh, just he put the sh shoes outside and then he climbed the steps. And we wanted that from a distance, he will see. But without our asking, without our this one, he just went inside and all the way where the our monks were uh, singing the prayer, he sat down with them and he sat down with them and entered into deep meditation. Now what to do? Now security people are telling Swamiji, what are you doing? It is getting late for the flight. So we told Dr. Kalam, it is getting late, but no reply. Two, three times we said, no reply. Then ultimately we had to shake him like that. After shaking him, he got and says, Dr. Kalam, it is getting late for flight. Oh, then he got up, ran, way, ran all the way from the from the from that side to the rear side of the temple. He went down the stairs. He took the shoes in his hand, did not wear it and just ran to the car outside which was waiting. He sat inside the car and started wearing the shoes. So we asked him, Dr. Kalam, what happened? 
Dr. Kalam said, you know, Swamiji, the music was divine. It entered into my ears. Then it entered into my heart. And then it entered into my soul. And I was lost. These are the only words he used. And I was lost in meditation. But it was so deep meditation. Afterwards, in his book Ignited Minds also he said, I was lost in meditation both at Rajkot and at Porbandar in the room in which Swami Viveka had stayed in the Viveka Memorial. That he had written, written down in his book Ignited Minds just now. It was read out. But another thing, when he went to Calcutta for inaugurating the library of the uh, ancestral place of Swami Vivekan where he was born. During that time, he uh, he told, you know, um, I like all the places when I go to Ramakrishna Mission. There are some special vibrations. And then he said, when I went to Rajkot and the evening prayer was going on, and that time I entered a deep meditation. And for the first time, I came to know that time becomes indeterminate at one stage. Just imagine what he says. Time becomes indeterminate at one stage. So he went beyond time, space and causation. So he did not use the word Samadhi. But this is what it, exactly it is. A deep meditation he went through. So, so just imagine what is the purity of mind. His mind is so pure that when there is a divine atmosphere, when there is a spiritual atmosphere, his mind goes beyond time. That is the speciality. There is intense spirituality. His intense purity of mind. In, that is what attracted me. And that is why we used to keep uh, a close contact. So this was afterwards when he was uh, going, I asked, I have come all the way from Porbandar to give you a personal invitation. So you have to come to Porbandar. Dr. Kalam said, yes, Swamiji, I, I'll come uh, in future. Then I said, but and we will also organize a big youth convention. All the youths will be there. Then he became enthusiastic. Yes, yes, Swamiji, surely I'll come. So then again, I two, three times I telephoned. He said, no, no, Swamiji, I'm very busy. So I lost hopes. Suddenly, when fun bounding, I'm receiving a call from Dr. Kalam. He said, Dr. Kalam said, I'm Dr. Kalam speaking. Yes, so I'm Dr. Kalam. You see, Samiji, I'm uh, going to Prasla. Prasla is about uh, uh, 150 uh, to 56 kilometers from uh, Porbandar. So it, um, I had to go to the, I'll go to Porbandar airport for going to Prasla. I said, very, very nice. So you had promised that when you come to Porbandar, you will come to Arashama. Uh, you will come for, yes, yes Swamiji. Um, let me see, let me see. Then second day, again, he himself is telephoning. Swamiji, I'm sorry, the flight timings have changed. Now, instead of 12.30, it will reach 1.30 at uh, Prasla and I will have to straight drive to Prasla. There's no time. Anyway, Swamiji, I'll make a special program for you. I said, Dr. Kalam, in the meanwhile, these youngsters have become mad and they are so happy, they'll become very disappointed if they listen to this. And Dr. Kalam asked, is there any other flight, another flight? He said, no, no, only one flight from Bombay to Porbanda at that time. Then suddenly I had a thought in my mind. Yes, but there is a morning flight from Bombay to Rajkot. If you come to Rajkot, we'll take care of your car journey from Rajkot to Porbanda. And then this can be done. Okay, Swamiji, let me see. Let me see. I'll tell, let you know. Third day, again he himself is telephoning. Swamiji, I'm coming. I'll come to Rajkot. You arrange my trip from Rajkot to Porbanda in the morning. And then I'll have your program with you. And after lunch, I'll go to Prasla for the youth convention. And I said, Swami, Dr. Kalam, very thank you. Thank you very much. And he kept his promise. On 13 February 2002, uh, both of us started by car from Rajkot to Porbandar. We had a lot of discussions, a lot of discussions. And uh, he was so curious. It was three hour journey, but when the journey ended, we did not know because so many things he started asking. 
He said, Swamiji, please tell some inspiring incidents from the life of Swami And I told so many things, how a Muslim fakir had saved the life of Swamiji in Almora. He did not know about it. And then uh, he tells something about Ramakrishna. Then I told how Ramakrishna practiced all religions, including Islam. Very, very much interested. Then I said, did he marry? I said, yes, he married. But that marriage was uh, a very peculiar type of marriage. He had his wife was Sardar Devi, but he worshipped his wife as divine mother and did not. they did not have a marital relationship, though both were married to each other. And Holy Mother looked upon him as God and Sri Ramakrishna looked upon her as Divine Mother. And then I told how the Holy Mother Sharda Devi, she he, she used to pour, pour so much of love on a Muslim dacoit called Amjad and all that. So all these stories and he was so much happy. Uh, and so some, we did not know when the car entered the gate of the our memory, Vekan Memorial. Then after that, we had uh, we took him to the room in which Swami Vivekananda stayed in Vivekananda Memorial. As soon as he sat down, again he went into deep meditation. Again we had to shake him because it was getting late. I tell Dr. Kalam, it is getting late. Only 3,000 students are waiting there for a long time for you. So we just took a cup of tea and little snacks and then we went to the uh, school, that uh, Vivekananda school. Vivekan Vidya Mandir is the name given to that Bhavsi Yai school. And uh, he inaugurated the school. Then he talked to 3000 youth. Wonderful speech he gave. I'll share only one thought. He said in that speech on 13 February 2002, mind you, that time he has not yet become president. He was a Bharat. So uh, he said that. Uh, he was asked, what is the source of your inspiration? Dr. Kalam said, normally I do not leak out this secret, but this is the right place to leak out this secret. Then he said, you know, I was in 8th standard, I was the monitor of my school and um, my headmaster called me, he said, tonight you bring all the children to the school at midnight, 15th August midnight. Uh, you have to listen to the running commentary on radio. No TV at that time, radio, because India will become independent and uh, that running commentary must be heard by the students. So I say I was the monitor, I called all the students. So we listened to the running commentary and uh, we listened to the speech of Pandit Jawala Nehru. Uh, but of course, we did not know Hindi at that time. Uh, we knew only English, a little bit of English and Tamil only. But anyway, we were very happy. Then Dr. Kalam said, next day in the newspapers, I saw two photographs. One photograph showing Pandit Jawala Nehru hoisting the Indian flag on the red fort. And we were very happy to see that, that India has become independent. By the side of that first photograph was another photograph. And that second photograph was my school education, was my college education, as was my life education. That is what he told. And what was that photograph? That photograph was showing when the whole country was rejoicing over the independence of the nation. One person who sacrificed his maximum and worked hard, very, very hard for achieving this independence was not enjoying. He was walking barefooted on the streets of Kolkata, wiping the tears of the people who were who had become victims during that unfortunate incident that happened immediately after the independence. He said, that photograph changed my life. I could understand, I could understand what is the nobility of leadership. Here is a leader who has brought independence who has worked and because of him the independence come, he does not take any power position, nothing. What a leadership, what a leader. Not only that he is not enjoying, even at that time, when the time of enjoyment has come, he is wiping the tears of pe people. I could understand what is the nobility of leadership. Leader is a person who does not crave for name and fame or for the, for the power and position, who just works for the people 
works with a vision and gives the credit to others. Wonderful and knowledge of leadership lesson that I heard. So these are the things that he told and they were very, very nice question and answer session and they are not going to the details. Then I told him my vote of thanks, he is not a Bharat Ratna, he is a Vishwaratna, he is going to become great. This I told on 13 February 2002, within four months, he became the president of India, Rashtrapati. Nobody had imagined at that time, of course, it was very much unexpected. But when his name was announced, then everybody knew that he is going to become president, though it is not announced, the election will take place, but that is for the name's sake. So, I telephoned him, uh, he was at that time the professor of Anna University, he came all the way to take the telephone from the guest house and I told Dr. Kalam, I want to give you advanced congratulations because once you go to Rashtrapati Bhavan, you will become inaccessible. Then Dr. Kalam in his character style said, not for you Swamiji, not for you. You know, yesterday only I remembered you. How? Yesterday was the first big press conference on the eve of becoming president. His name is not yet announced, election is not over, but everybody knows. So they asked the press photo, the press people, what is your message to the nation? And Dr. Kalam told me, Swamiji, I, gave them, I told them, I want to give the same message that I gave at Port Bandar while talking to 3000 news. What is that? Swamiji, you, will not be, you, you may not be knowing because when you are giving a vote of thanks, one girl came up to the stage with a dash on me and took my autograph. And then she asked, what is your message for us? Then I told that girl and he told me, I give the same message to the people, to the press reporters, that I want to give the same message to the nation, which I did, which I gave to that girl on that day. What is that? My dear daughter, you will grow with the idea embedded in your mind that nation is more important than the individual and that is my nation for the India today. This is the message he gave on the eve of becoming Rashtrapati. So he told me Swamiji, I, I was remembering yesterday only but in any case when he became Rashtrapati I kept a little distance because after all he has become so busy but I wrote a beautiful letter to him and he replied also that appreciate your feelings. I told that uh, Swami Vivekananda had told that what we want for our nation is Islamic body and Vedantic brain. And what a great coincidence that an Islamic body, <laughs> Dr. Kalam is having Islamic body with a Vedantic brain. You know, he used to read Upanishad Gita. I said, what, an, what a strange coincidence in Islamic body with Vedantic brain. He is now on the top position of the country. So he gave a brief reply, Swamiji, I appreciate your feelings. I had also attached the letter Swami Vivekan had written to Muhammad Sarfaraz Hussain of Nainital, uh, who later became Swami Muhammad Ananda. So all these things he did not know. Uh, I said, and then on 16th April 2003, I think we are exceeding the time. Anyway, there are so many things to share. I will just uh, end with that. So 16th April, 2000, 16th April 2003, I met him and um, I handed him over uh, that we, for handing over that video I had gone there. Now I was just a little bit uh, um, worried as to how uh, he will behave with me or how I should behave with him. Now he has become Rashtrapati earlier. Yes, before that I must remember, I must tell you that day, day 13 February 2002, when uh, this his lecture was over, he went to see the birthplace of Mahatma Gandhi and came to Ashrama, our Vivekan Memorial, and took lunch. Then he started for Prasla. Now it so happened that same evening he had to take a flight from Rajkot to Bombay on to Chennai, Madras, Chennai. And I had to take the same evening the flight from Rajput to Bombay on to Banaras for delivering lecture in the centenary celebration of Baranas. So, so when I went by car from Borban to Rajput and I sat down in the aircraft, I did not know that he is going by the same flight. Now he entered the last because he is having Z plus category and even at that time he had Z plus category being Bharat. 
Ratna. So when he saw me on the aircraft, Swamiji, you are going with the same flight. I want to sit near you like a child. <laughs> I said, okay, I will come to you. No, no, Swamiji, you are a monk. I should come to you. See the humility. Then I told the young man who was sitting by me, I said, you go, Dr. Kalam, sit. He wants to sit near me. He was reluctant, but then he went and then Dr. Kalam sat down. And Dr. Kalam said, Swamiji, morning you told so many nice things about Swami Vivekananda. Please tell something more. <laughs> then again, I started telling how Mahatma Gandhi and Subhash Chandra Bose and all of them, they got inspiration from the books of Swami Vivekananda. And like that, I was telling. So suddenly, the flight touched Bombay airport, landed. Dr. Kalam, Swamiji, Bombay has come so quickly. I want to learn, learn, to learn, to learn so many more things. Anyway, it is one of the greatest days of my life. I have learned so many things about great people. This is what he told. So this was on 13 February 2002. And then 13 February, that is on 30 February 2002. And 16 February 2003 when I went to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Before I gave him something, I could give him something. He gave me a big basket of fruits. And then I had taken that video that we had prepared and some books of Swami Vivekan and all that. And a photograph and all that. He said, Swamiji, you have brought so many things for me. Then I said, jokingly said, what can I bring for you? Like a fucky, I have come to meet an emperor. What can I give for you? Just imagine his humility. Immediately said, only one emperor, Swamiji. We are servants of the same emperor. You see, immediately he says, only one emperor, God. We are servants of the same emperor. I told, we, I am a, like a fucky coming to meet an emperor. Like Sudama, I come from Sudama Puri. So what can I give you? Only a few books and all that. But he's a Swamiji, only one emperor. So see his humility. That is his greatness. No ego. Leadership. So many virtues as he has got. Anyway, so we had a lot of discussion. And then I said, uh, Dr. Kalam, even if you bring the wealth of the whole World Bank, the poverty will not go. May GDP growth make it. Why Swamiji? Why? I said that for the rampant corruption in the country today. Then he became very mysterious. Yes, Swamiji, you are true. What is the solution, Swamiji? I said, only one solution. What we should learn on 15th August 1947, we should do it now. What is that? Swami Vivekananda said, education, education, education alone is the panacea of all our evils. But what type of education? Swami Vivekananda said, what we want is man-making education, character-building education. But that is still not there in our schools and colleges. That has to be done. Swamiji said, Dr. Kalam said, Swamiji, you are right. Let us work together. And then I said, we are starting Vivekanan Institute of Value Education and Culture at Porbandar for the same reason, for imparting value education. And uh, we want that you should inaugurate it. Dr. Kalam said, yes, Swamiji, I'll come. And then he came. He kept his promise. On 12 January 2006, on the birthday of Swami Vivekanan National Day Celebration, he came to Porbandar. First, he had come Porbandar without becoming president. Now, he came as Rashtrapati, as president of India. And he uh, addressed 5,000 youths that we had gathered at the end. He inaugurated the Vivekan Institute of Value Education and Culture and then talked about Swami Vivekan. He said, Swami Vivekan is not a leader only of India. He is a global leader. He is a leader of the whole planet. He is a great personality of the whole planet. And then he told how Swami Vivekananda had inspired Jamsiji Tata to start Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore while they were traveling together in the same ship from Japan to Chicago. All these things he told. And there was a question answer session. And so many beautiful questions are there, were there. Uh, I don't have time to share, but at least I will share one question. One, one student stood up and said, Sir, Operation Duryodhan, Operation Chakravyu, and other operations have revealed the tip of the iceberg that is rampant corruption in the country today. As the President of India, how do you feel about it? And where do you think lies the solution? So Dr. Kalam stood up and said, you see, the parliament has already taken some action on those MPs. And then he took out a book of Swami Vivekananda and started reading a passage from the book of Swami Vivekananda. And when Swami Vivekananda says, no number of parliament acts can make a nation good, can make a nation great. Then what can make a nation good? Then what can make a nation great? Again, he started reading. Only a large number of good enlightened citizens can make a nation good, can make a nation great. And then he said, 
and the government cannot produce good people and the government will not produce good people that also it then who can do it he said only three persons can do it who are the three father mother and the teacher so just imagine how much he had faith in the teachers great role model for teachers and so at that time he had told this one and afterwards on 22nd august 2006 i went to him again met him at rashtrapati bhavan for the third time and handed him over the video that we had prepared on that function and i said your lecture was very much appreciated and people are still talking about it now in the meanwhile i have been transferred to baroda so now we want to have organize a program so on 12 january 2007 we want you at baroda dr kalam ji you see swami ji uh, my term is ending in june so before that i have to wind up so many things so perhaps i will not get time i said what we want you to continue as president what he said swami ji i don't want to be the president of india i am a born teacher i want to be teacher only just imagine imagine he is telling i don't want to be the president of india i want to be a teacher i am a born teacher and really it so happened as soon as he left the rashtrapati one went again once again to same anna university become a professor before that he went to his village to see uh, his teacher was in old was very much old and was not was sick first seen saw him then came to anna university started teaching 27 july 2015 he passed away two days before that he was asked this question Dr. Kalam, how would you like to be remembered as the missile man or people's president? He said, "I would like to be remembered as a teacher. I am about to die, teacher. Die as a teacher. I may be scientist. I may be anything. I may, be, but basically, I am a teacher, and I want to die while teaching. And really, he died while teaching. He was talking to the students of I am Shillong, as you know, 27, and suddenly." He, fell down and passed away his desire was fulfilled whole life he was a teacher he was a born teacher he died as a teacher what a wonderful thing in fact my last meeting with dr kalam was at varodara airport uh, on 23rd of april 2015 and i told we are going to have um, a international youth conference and also we are to hang to a pre parliament event as a pre as a prelude to the world parliamentary that is going to be held in salt lake city so we are going to have a pre parliament event on 9th august 2015 at boroda he said surely swami ji will come he had promised we had printed his name invitation cards were printed published but suddenly we got the news on 27 july that he has passed away it was a great shock to me and i was at the time for a speech for a program in bombay so i could not go to uh, attend his last rites but anyway i saw it online whatever it is i miss him very badly but really uh, i when i remember his his uh, admiration for swami vivekananda i asked him this question swami ji why why do you why do you why you want to know so much about swami vivekananda and immediately he replied no You know, Swami Ji, Swami Vivekananda is a rare saint who converted religion into practical spirituality. See the word he has used. I think Dr. Kalam says he is a rare personality, is a rare saint, not personally rare saint, who converted religion into practical spirituality. As you know, Swami Vivekananda preached the message of. serving humanity in respect of caste creed color religion nationality and that's why he started ramkrishna mission for serving the humanity so he is talking about practical spirituality and that is the thing that swami that dr kalam liked in swami vivekan so we had lot of discussions we have met so many times but um, i miss him but at the same time today when his birthday let us remember his message of igniting the young minds It's a great responsibility for us. Let us remember his passion for being a great teacher. Let all the teachers learn the passion of a teacher from him. Let all the students learn how they have to be united by the, and how they have, we have to all work together for making India a developed country. Because his vision of two zero two zero developed country has not yet come true. 
but we can march forward we can remember dr kalam we can remember the message of swami vivekananda and i personally feel i told him also don't think dr kalam you are speaking it is swami vivekananda speaking through you so he became very much amazed he said what what are you telling he said yes then i asked him yesterday what did you say and then i brought out a book swami vivekananda book my india india eternal and i i showed him one portion huh? same thing swami vivekan said in 1897 you are telling now same words how is it coming it is swami vivekan sitting on your shoulders that is why so he started laughing so anyway we had a very nice interaction with dr kalam i remember him and let us work together for making india a developed country that would the best tribute that we can pay to dr kalam thank you again very much to all the organizers and mr anjan banik ji for inviting me for this program thank you very much veda told uh, that asutoma sadgamaya tamosoma jyotirgamaya swami nikileshwaranand ji maharaj himself enlights our soul our heart and it's a rare finding that uh, kalam sir also uh, mention only one rare saint about only one rare saint in his biographical note ignited mind though he was uh, living with students with political leaders with scientists but only rare saint about whom kalam sir also mentioned he is none about than our most respected swami nikileshwaranand ji and learning and listening words of wisdom from him swami nikileshwaranand ji about another enlightening person kalam is such a great experience for me also as well as all the participants who are viewing this show this live session through the all the social medias thank you swami nikileshwaranand ji maharaj please keep your blessings always with us always on us and it will give us more enlightenment to be human being and to serve the whole the mankind also as all, all the best to all the people all the best to all the people thank you thank you thank you maharaj we are moving forward we have with us uh, one more inspiring personality he is none other than uh, from ncert national council for educational research and training department of education science and mathematics desm uh, professor dr tp sharma sir sir has a long experience especially in the mathematics education field and uh, without his blessings we can't uh, do anything uh, and we uh, never thought to do anything so today also sir please unmute yourself and uh, and light you with us with your thoughts with your motivations sir tp sharma sir uh am i audible yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir uh good evening uh, first of all i would like to congratulate uh, organizer uh, national student scientist india and uh, organizing such a wonderful program with a uh, wonderful speaker from uh, different uh, <clears throat> stream and uh, already i heard lot and learned lot uh, about kalam sir and once uh, um, you know uh, kalam sir whatever he has uh, spoken uh, if all those think uh, we can you know uh, in the school in the colleges uh, we can discuss sometime or in our especially uh, in our home then i think um, there is a, there will be so much of change because um, he has um, there are so many quotes from the kalam sir like uh, one i would like to mention here dream is not what you see in sleep dream is something it's not let you sleep so if this meaning 
we can uh, you know explain to our own child in uh, at home and our students in the school i think that, that is uh, very very important and uh, swami ji whatever swami ji has uh, already spoke uh, in this uh, occasion the birth anniversary of uh, sri um, our great scientist uh, people's president uh, so we have learned a lot and uh, thank you anjan banik ji organizing such a wonderful program and with this program we believe that uh, we can do more <clears throat> because uh, education is such a thing that can transform many things so i think uh, um, the more message we can give to our students in the school college at home or university uh there will be lots of change uh will come and the uh, nation will definitely progress uh, with this world i congratulate anjan banik and entire team behind the scene who are doing and uh, whenever i attend this program i myself also learn a lot because there are so many things because when we can we are not able to you know sometime able to read the books but listening people's about uh, uh, kalam sir uh, he is a great personality once i had a occasion the when he was uh, after leaving the president on the occasion we had i had attended one lecture in iit delhi there uh, he came uh, there was a lecture uh, on ncert uh, this uh, foundation day and that day uh, between the lecture there was no light Light, uh, and but uh, Kalam sir has came with the uh, you know note of his uh, lecture, and uh, without disruption he continued his lecture. So well prepared. So I have seen. So I think many things uh, we can you know in our day to day life uh, we can visualize that what is going to happen, and if we are always prepared, then uh, there will be you know no disruption that I learned that day. So I congratulate uh, Anjan Mani and entire team and. Uh, Both of our students are there here in this program. Maybe uh, if we can apply little bit message uh, to our own life, maybe uh, we can change our set. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We need your continuous blessings uh, to move forward. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being with us. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you. Uh, we are moving forward. Uh, now we are we know that kalam sir is the a man who transform the dreams into the actual in the reality his dream was to build our uh, guru our most uh, prominent guardian from vigyan prasar dr kapil tripathi sir also said he once upon a time he uh, was in drdo and he established the whole units of drdo whatever now is he came to isro and he established the rocket launching preparation and in drdo when he was drdo he uh, was a, uh, regarded as a missile man he is the Uh, we, 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 we can interpret him we can uh, say that he is the father of missiles also and when he was in isro he developed the ideas of dr uh, vikram saravai and saravai also depends uh, on uh, kalam sir and after that he uh, again with atomic energy and he proven that we are the super power through his pokran uh, operation buddh so in such way he uh, wherever he got scope to be uh, show his skill show his uh, talent show his dedication he given a newer energy and make the whole india as atmanirbhar bharat so now we will get knowledge about his contribution specially for isro indian space research organization we have with us from america usa our most prominent and most 
senior scientist who served at ISRO, uh, especially from uh, at the land of uh, Vikram Sarabhai, Gujarat, SAC, Ahmedabad, at the uh, satellite unit, and uh, who also contributed for a uh, 35 years, more than 35 years at ISRO, and contributed at a most prominent projects such as education. ISRO started his uh, contribution, uh, its, 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 its uh, operations, first of all, for education promotion and educet like programs. And uh, Sir has headed such programs and in a, as a team member. So welcome, Sir, Dr. Bharat Bhai Chaniara, Sir, from uh, who is a senior scientist from ISRO and now uh, will deliver his, his words of wisdom from America. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Anjanji. Good evening to all of you. Uh, friends, today we are going to talk about the day of Kalam Sir. I will share some of Kalam Sir's life and some of the quality of Kalam Sir. I want to share some of the Kalam Sir's life. We have a lot of things काफी चीजें सीखने को मिलती है। First and foremost, that is the simplicity। हम कितने भी बड़े लोग बन जाएं, सायद साइंटिस्ट या लीडर या इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट, लेकिन हमें सिंपल सिंपल रहना चाहिए। हमारे जीवन में सिंपलिसिटी होनी चाहिए। Excuse me. तो हमारे जीवन में सिंपलिसिटी होनी चाहिए और हमें कभी भी अपने जो नॉलेज या अपनी जो कैपेबिलिटी है उसका प्राउड फील नहीं करना चाहिए तो डेट इज अ फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट डेट इज कलाम सर क्वालिटी देन सेकंड ऑनेस्टी तो हमारे जीवन में ऑनेस्टी होना चाहिए अपने कंट्री को अपनी सोसाइटी को आगे बढ़ाना है तो हमें जो भी कर रहे हैं उसमें हमें ऑनेस्टी होनी चाहिए तीसरा डेडिकेशन टू अवर ड्यूटी हम कुछ भी कर रहे हैं जैसे कोई जॉब कर रहे हैं या हम कोई बिजनेस कर रहे हैं तो हमारा उसमें डेडिकेशन होना चाहिए जो डेडिकेशन होगा तो डेफिनेटली हमें उसमें अचीवमेंट हमारा जो गोल है वो सिद्ध होगा तो डेडिकेशन टूवर्ड्स अवर ड्यूटी दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन रिस्पेक्ट ऑल पीपल ऑल कम्युनिटी ऑल रिलीजन्स That is also very very important in our uh, life. Then spirituality. Uh, spirituality is also equally important in our life because with spirituality we can have confidence, we can have trust on God, and so many things will uh, gain in our life. Then Kalam sir was telling that uh, you always dream to achieve your goal. So we should uh, always dream. And we should uh, try to achieve our goal. We should put full dedication, efforts to achieve our goal. Then leadership. Kalam sir was a great leader because he has done very, very successful projects, very, very uh, great work based on his leadership, very simple leadership. So he developed uh, launch vehicles like PSLV, GS, PSLV, SLV then so many types of missiles he became president also but uh, he was always simple man he was a very good leader also so uh, when he was a president 11th president uh, people sabhi log unse aaram se mil sakte the aur iski wajah se wo people's president ke naam se pehchane jate hain to ye sab quality unme thi dusra tha unka confidence कुछ जो भी आप कर रहे हैं उसमें आपको कॉन्फिडेंस होना चाहिए कि भई मुझे मेरा गोल हासिल करना है तो दैट मच कॉन्फिडेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन एफर्ट टू अचीव द गोल देन नेशनलिज्म हमें देश भावना होनी चाहिए देशभक्ति होनी चाहिए जो अपने देश को आगे बढ़ाना है तो हमारा में नेशनलिज्म होना चाहिए दूसरा अप्रिसिएट कोई भी छोटा काम करे तो उनको अप्रिसिएट करिए उनको एनकरेज करिए अप्रिसिएट करिए 
so that is also good quality because kalam sir always uh, i was appreciating to all people who were working with him so appreciation is also very important then he was telling that uh, uh, senior people should share their knowledge whatever they achieved throughout his life they should share to the society to the new generation so that uh, our country uh, it will be benefit to the society and our country so that was sharing the knowledge to the society and new generation then uh, inspire appreciate encourage and provide all facility to the new generation so they can achieve their goal they will be become a good citizen of our country and our country will progress and become a superpower so kalam sir's dream was to make our india uh, knowledge superpower and self reliance so usne uh, ek book likhi thi vision 2020 usme usne bharat ko नॉलेज सुपर पावर और आत्मनिर्भर भारत बनाने के लिए उसने कुछ अलग अलग क्षेत्र में काम करने को सजेस्ट किया था जैसे कि एजुकेशन हेल्थ सेक्टर फिर एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कम्युनिकेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट और डेवलपमेंट ऑफ क्रिटिकल टेक्नोलॉजी तो भारत को नॉलेज सुपर पावर बनाना है एंड सेल्फ रिलायंस बनना है तो इस क्षेत्र में भारत को लोगों को अपने देश के लोगों को काम करना चाहिए ये उसने विजन 2020 जो उसने बुक लिखी है उसमें सजेस्ट किया था तो कलाम सर वॉन्टेड आवर कंट्री टू बिकम नॉलेज सुपर पावर एंड सेल्फ रिलायंट मैं कलाम सर का कुछ इंस्पायरिंग जो कोर्ट्स है उसके बारे में भी बात करना बात करना चाहता हूँ आपके साथ शेयर करना चाहता हूँ फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इफ यू फेल नेवर गिव अप because fail f a i l means first attempt in learning to hum jab bhi kuch karte hain usme hame failure milta hai to hame kabhi bhi usse nasi pas nahi nirash nahi hona chahiye we should put our effort we should find out our mistake weakness and we should uh, try again and again with more uh, more efforts and enthusiasm so we'll get the success so don't uh, give up when you fail if you want to sign like a sun then you have to first burn like a sun hame surya ki tarah jaise prakashit ya bright ho rehna banna hai to hame surya ki tarah jalna padega jalna matlab we have to put lot of effort to become uh, great then dream is not that which you see while sleeping but it is something that does not allow you to sleep till you your goal is achieved to so, kalam sir ka dream ke bare mein definition tha ki dream jo hum raat ko sote hain aur hum dream dekhte hain wo dream sahi nahi hai lekin dusra dream bhi hai ki hame hamara goal achieve karne ka liye hame dream karna chahiye aur jab tak hamara wo jo goal achieve na ho tab tak hame sone na de वही सचा ड्रीम है देन ऑलवेज ड्रीम ड्रीम एंड ड्रीम इन लाइफ ड्रीम ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू थ्रॉट थॉट रिजल्ट इन एक्शन एंड प्रॉपर एक्शन रिजल्ट इन अचीवमेंट तो हम जो कुछ भी अचीव करने का ड्रीम रखे तो डेफिनेटली हमें वो गोल हमारा हासिल होगा all birds find shelter during the rain but eagle avoid rain by flying above the cloud so always overcome the troubles to ye quote sunka batata hai ki trouble ke samne hame kabhi himmat nahi harna chahiye uske samne struggle karke ya usko samna karke hame usko trouble ko trouble se bahar aana chahiye then excellence is a continuous process of hard work and does not achieve by an accident or it's not does not achieve by overnight so koi bhi siddhi hame hasil karna hai to hame uske liye continuous efforts karna rakhna padega lagana padega tabhi hame wo hamare expertise ya excellence milegi 
क्योंकि वो ओवर नाइट या शॉर्ट टर्म शॉर्ट स्पान में हमें नहीं मिल सकती तो ये सब कलाम सर के काफी दूसरे भी इंस्पायरिंग स्कोट से है लेकिन मुझे ये सब अच्छे लगे तो आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विथ यू तो कलाम सर से हमें काफी चीजें मिलना चाहिए सीखना मिलती है हमारे जीवन में हमें अपनाना चाहिए और हमारा देश को हमारी सोसाइटी को कम्युनिटी को हमें आगे बढ़ाना चाहिए तो इसके लिए आज के जो ये वेबिनार से डॉक्टर अंजन बनिक जी ने मुझे आपसे बात करने का मौका दिया इसके लिए मैं उसका बहुत बहुत आभारी हूँ और आप लोगों ने मुझे सुना इसलिए भी मैं आपका सबका धन्यवाद करता हूँ और सभी बच्चों जो अभी नेक्स्ट कंपटीशन में पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं इसके लिए सभी को मेरी हार्दिक शुभकामना बेस्ट विशेष एंड डेफिनेटली यू पीपल विल बी सक्सेसफुल इन योर लाइफ सो ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर सर आप यहाँ पर आए और न केवल आप सर अमेरिका की दूर दराज से भी आपने समय निकाला और यहाँ पे हमारे लिए आशीर्वचन रखे इसके लिए आपको तहे दिल से धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू थैंक यू हम इस मुकाम पर पहुंचने से ऐसे ही नहीं पहुंचे हम सभी ने अपनी अपनी स्ट्रगल में कामयाब होने के लिए किसी ना किसी का तो सहारा किसी ना किसी को तो याद किया होगा और ऐसे ही एक व्यक्तित्व है डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम जिनकी स्ट्रगलिंग लाइफ और उनकी डेडिकेशन को अपने जीवन में उतारने की बहुत ज़रूरत है और उसी को ले अपने दिल में समाते हुए ही हम आगे बढ़ सकते हैं आज इस मंच से हम उन सभी को जिन्होंने इस मंच को एक नया आयाम दिया और इसके साथ जोड़कर कलाम जी के सपने कलाम जी के उद्देश्य और लक्ष्य को हमारे जीवन में उतारने के लिए अपने आशीर्वचनों से हमें कृतार्थ किया इन सभी को सबसे पहले प्रहलाद रामा राव सर जिन्होंने डी में मिसाइल बनाते हुए कलाम जी के साथ काम किया और जिनको भारत सरकार की तरफ से पद्मश्री अवार्ड से सम्मानित किया गया हमारे विपनेट क्लब और विपनेट कार्यक्रमों की साथ जुड़े हुए विज्ञान प्रसार के वैज्ञानिक वैज्ञानिक एफ डॉक्टर कपिल त्रिपाठी जी जिन्होंने आज इस मंच को कृतार्थ किया हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए थे रेयर पर्सनैलिटी फ्रॉम रामकृष्ण मिशन एंड मॉट गुजरात राजकोट में अभी वो अध्यक्ष के रूप में अपना सेवा दे रहे हैं स्वामी निखिलेश्वर आनंद जी महाराज और साथ में ही एन से डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर टीपी शर्मा सर और हमारे इसरो के वैज्ञानिक डॉक्टर भारत भाई चनियर हम सबको इस मंच की ओर से हम तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करते हैं कि आप सबके आशीर्वचनों से ही आज का ये दिन पावन दिन हम उद्यापन कर पाए और साथ में ही एक नया अवार्ड जो कि बेसिकली बच्चों को इंस्पिरेशन के लिए मोटिवेशन के लिए ही तैयार किया गया है आज सेकेंड ईयर में उसका शुरुआत कर रहे हैं सेकेंड ईयर डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट साइंटिस्ट इनोवेशन अवार्ड जो कि अगले साल 2023 में दिया जाएगा और उसके लिए उसके लिए नॉमिनेशन आज से खुल खुला हुआ है फॉर्म गूगल फॉर्म के जरिए उनको अपनी इनोवेशन और अपनी प्रोफाइल एक पीडीएफ के जरिए बना के उसमें उसको सबसे पहले तो उसको अपने ही गूगल ड्राइव में अपलोड करना है और उसका जो शेयरेबल लिंक है उसको इस गूगल फॉर्म में अटैच कर देना है उस फॉर्म को शेयरेबल लिंक बना के ही आप अटैच करें नहीं तो हमारे इवेल्यूटर उसको देख नहीं पाएंगे खोल नहीं पाएंगे और ज़्यादा बच्चे की पार्टिसिपेशन से सबको बारी बारी आगाह करके वो शेयरेबल बना के फिर उसका इवोल्यूशन करने में भी दिक्कत आती है तो प्लीज़ मेक दिस लिंक गूगल फॉर ड्राइव लिंक शेयरेबल Uh, how far it is possible 
और सबसे ज्यादा इसमें हम चाहते हैं कि जिस पर हम हमारी जजेस सबसे ज्यादा तवज्जो देते हैं वो है आपको कुछ इंस्पायर अवार्ड जैसे कुछ इस तरह की इनोवेशन करना है जो देश की काम आए जो देश को आत्मनिर्भर बनाने की काम आए और देश की जन जन को जिसमें फायदा मिले उस तरह की वैज्ञानिक या गणित के कुछ इनोवेशन हो तो उसको आप इसमें शामिल करें उसको ही ज्यादा से ज्यादा इवोल्यूटर उसको देखते हैं और उन लोगों को ही ये अवार्ड दिया जाता है ये गूगल फॉर्म खुला है और खुला रहेगा और अगले वर्ष 27 जुलाई 2023 जो कि हमारी एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम जी की पुण्यतिथि है उस दौरान इसको हम उनसे चुनिंदा बच्चों को हम देंगे ये गूगल फॉर्म हर समय खुला होता है हम एक सटीक टाइम पे इस पे आए हैं लिए गए एंट्रीज को इसमें लेते हैं और उस उसी पर रिवॉल्यूशन होता है ऐसा नहीं कि इसको बंद कर दिया जाता है आप अगर इस साल लास्ट वन मंथ को हम छोड़ देते हैं उस वन मंथ में भी ये खुला हुआ होता है जब क्योंकि गूगल फॉर्म में आपका एंट्री डेट और टाइम के साथ आता है तो उस दौरान अगर किसी ने अपना इनोवेशन उसमें रखा उसमें सबमिट किया तो उसको अगली वर्ष के लिए हम आगे बढ़ा देते हैं तो ऐसा मत सोचिए कि आपने इसमें डाला है तो आपको नहीं मिलेगा इसमें जब तक हमारा इवोल्यूशन होता है तब तक हम लेते हैं और इसके बाद का जो एंट्रीज है उस डेट के बाद का उस क्योंकि ये खुला होता है तो उस डेट पर भी आप दे सकते हैं तो वो एंट्री हम अगले वर्ष के लिए मतलब ट्वेंटी के लिए आगे बढ़ा देते हैं तो आपकी कोई भी एंट्री ऐसा नहीं है मानना है कि ये खत्म हो गया ये हमारे रिकॉर्ड में रहता है और इसको हम आगे इवोल्यूटर को देते हैं तो इसी के साथ हम आगे बढ़ते हैं अभी हमारा आखिरी पड़ाव है हम बुलाना चाहेंगे हमारे इस वर्ष के इंडियन इंडिया इंटरनेशनल सराभाई स्टूडेंट साइंटिस्ट अवार्ड से सम्मानित महाराष्ट्र की पार्टिसिपेंट जिनको ये अवार्ड मिला है अवार्डी प्रगति मुस्किन को वो न केवल आज की वोट ऑफ थैंक्स देंगी वो आप सबको कलाम जी के बारे में कुछ नई बातें भी शेयर करेंगी तो इस मंच से हम बुलाना चाहेंगे प्रगति मुस्किन जी को वेलकम टू प्रगति मुस्किन और इंडिया इंटरनेशनल सराभा स्टूडेंट साइंटिस्ट अवार्ड विनर ओवर टू प्रगति मुस्किन मुझे यहाँ पर बोलने का मौका दिया जा रहा है इसीलिए थैंक यू वेरी मच अब हम सब मिलकर भारत माता के सच्चे सपूत महान वैज्ञानिक माननीय डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम जी को उनके जन्मदिन पर उनके बताए मार्ग पर चलने का दृढ़ संकल्प लेकर सच्ची श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करें उनका जन्म 15 अक्टूबर 1931 में हुआ था और इस जन्मदिन को विश्व विद्यार्थी दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाता है अबुल पाकिर जैनुलाब्दीन अब्दुल कलाम का जन्म फिफ्टीन अक्टूबर नाइनटीन को तमिलनाडु के रामेश्वरम में एक मुसलमान परिवार में हुआ था उनके पिता जैनुल अब्दीन एक नाविक थे और उनकी माता अशी अम्मा एक गृहिणी थी उनके परिवार की आर्थिक स्थिति ठीक नहीं थी इसलिए उन्हें छोटी उम्र से ही काम करना पड़ा था अपने पिता के आर्थिक मदद करने के लिए बालक कलाम स्कूल के बाद समाचार पत्र वितरण का कार्य करते थे अपने स्कूल के दिनों में कलाम पढ़ाई लिखाई में सामान्य थे पर नई चीज सीखने के लिए हमेशा तैयार और तत्पर रहते थे उनके अंदर सीखने की भूख थी और वो पढ़ाई पर घंटों ध्यान देते थे उन्होंने अपने स्कूल की पढ़ाई रामनाथपुरम के स्वाड्स मैट्रिकुलेशन स्कूल से पूरी की और उनके बाद तिरुचिरापल्ली के सेंट जोसेफ कॉलेज में दाखिला लिया जहाँ से उन्होंने सन 1954 में भौतिक विज्ञान में स्नातक किया उनके बाद वर्ष 1956 में वो मद्रास चले गए जहाँ से उन्होंने एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग की शिक्षा ग्रहण की 
वर्ष 1960 में कलम ने मद्रास इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी से इंजीनियरिंग की पढ़ाई पूरी की 1969 में उन्हें इसरो भेज दिया गया उन्होंने परियोजन निदेशक के पद पर काम किया उन्होंने पहला उपग्रह प्रक्षेपण यान और ध्रुवीय उपग्रह प्रक्षेपण यान को बनाने के लिए अपना अहम योगदान दिया जिसका प्रक्षेपण बाद में सफल हुआ 1980 में भारत सरकार ने एक आधुनिक मिसाइल प्रोग्राम अब्दुल कलाम जी डायरेक्टर से शुरू करने का सेवा सोचा इसलिए उन्होंने दुबार, उन्हें दोबारा डीआरडीओ भेज दिया गया उसके बाद एकीकृत निर्देशक मिसाइल विकास कार्यक्रम कलाम जी के मुख्य कार्यकारी के रूप से शुरू किया गया अब्दुल कलाम जी के निर्देशों से ही अग्नि मिसाइल पृथ्वी जैसे मिसाइल का बनाना सफल हुआ डॉक्टर कलाम जानते थे कि ऐसे व्यक्ति या राष्ट्र के समर्थ भविष्य के निर्माण में शिक्षा की क्या भूमिका हो सकती है उन्होंने हमेशा देश की प्रगति के पद पर आगे ले जाने की बात कही उनके पास भविष्य का एक स्पष्ट खाका था जिसे उन्होंने अपनी पुस्तक इंडिया ट्वेंटी टू एक विजन फॉर द न्यू मिलीनियन में प्रस्तुत किया इंडिया 2020 पुस्तक में उन्होंने लिखा कि भारत को वर्ष 2020 तक एक विकसित देश और नॉलेज सुपर पावर बनाना होगा उनका उनका कहना था कि देश की तरक्की में मीडिया को गंभीर भूमिका निभाने की जरूरत है नकारात्मक खबरें किसी को कुछ नहीं दे सकती लेकिन सकारात्मक और विकास से जुड़ी खबरें उम्मीदें जगाती है डॉक्टर कलाम एक प्रख्यात वैज्ञानिक प्रशासक शिक्षाविद और लेखक के तौर पर हमेशा माने जाएंगे और देश की वर्तमान एवं आने वाली कई पीढ़िया उनके प्रेरक व्यक्तित्व एवं महान कार्यों को कार्यों से प्रेरणा लेती रहेंगी पूर्व राष्ट्रपति और मिसाइल मैन ए पी के अब्दुल कलाम जी ही अचानक सबको छोड़कर अनंत यात्रा पर चले गए दिल का दौरा पड़ने से 83 साल के डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम सोमवार शाम निधन हो गया इस खबर ने पूरे देश को गम में डुबो दिया था आम लोगों के बेहद करीब इस शख्स से जुड़ी हर बात ताजा हो गई कलाम जानते थे कि किसी व्यक्ति या राष्ट्र के समर्थ भविष्य के निर्माण में शिक्षा की क्या भूमिका हो सकती है उन्होंने हमेशा देश के प्रगति पथ पर ले जाने की बात की उनका कहना था कि देश की तरक्की में मीडिया को गंभीर भूमिका निभाने की जरूरत है अपन, अपनी आत्मकथा कृति माई जर्नी में कलाम साहब ने लिखा है जीवन के वे दिन काफी कसम साहट भरे थे एक दिन विदेशों में शानदार करियर था तो दूसरी तरफ देश की सेवा का आदर्श बचपन में बचपन के सपनों को सच करने का अवसर चुन लिया लेकिन वह कठिन था कि आदर्शों की ओर चला जाए या मालामल होने के अवसर को गले लगाया जाए लेकिन अंततः मैंने तय किया कि पैसों के लिए देश नहीं विदेश नहीं जाऊँगा करियर की परवाह के लिए देश विदेश का अवसर नहीं गवाऊंगा इस तरह 1958 में डीआरडीओ डिफेंस एंड रिसर्च डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से जुड़ गए डॉक्टर कलाम की पहली तैनाती डीआरडीओ के हैदराबाद केंद्र में हुई पाँच साल तक वो वहाँ महत्वपूर्ण अनुसंधानों में सहायक रहे उन्हीं दिनों चीन ने भारत पर हमला किया था नाइनटीन के इस युद्ध के तुरंत बाद निर्णय लिया गया कि देश की सामरिक शक्ति को नए हथियारों से सुसज्जित किया जाए अनेक योजनाएं बनी जिनके जनक डॉक्टर कलाम थे लेकिन 1963 में उनका हैदराबाद से त्रिवेंद्रम तबादला कर दिया गया उनका यह पहला तबादला विक्रम स्पेस रिसर्च सेंटर में हुआ जो कि दूसरा डॉक्टर कलाम ने 1980 तक इस केंद्र में काम किया अपने इस लंबे सेवा काल में उन्होंने देश को अंतरिक्ष विज्ञान में क्षेत्र में महत्वपूर्ण मुकम तक तो पहुंचाया। अब हम उन्हें मिले हुए सम्मान के बारे में जानकारी लेते हैं विज्ञान क्षेत्र में सफलता हासिल करने के लिए इन्हें 1981 में पद्म भूषण और 1990 में पद्म विभूषण से सम्मानित किया गया रक्षा अनुसंधान क्षेत्र में अपने उल्लेखनीय योगदान के लिए इन्हें 1997 में देश के सर्वोच्च सम्मान भारत रत्न से सम्मानित किया गया वर्ष 1998 में राष्ट्रीय एकता के लिए इंदिरा गांधी अवार्ड दिया गया वर्ष 1998 में अब्दुल कलाम जी को रॉयल सोसाइटी यूके द्वारा किंग चैरिज मेडल से सम्मानित किया गया अब्दुल कलाम जी को विश्वास के 
विश्व भर के 40 विश्वविद्यालयों से डॉक्टर की पदवी प्राप्त की राष्ट्रपति के कार्यकाल खत्म होने पर अब्दुल कलाम जी आई आई एम शिलोंग आई आई एम अहमदाबाद आई आई एम इंदौर आई आई एस बेंगलोर और अन्य कॉलेज से गेस्ट प्रोफेसर के तौर पर जुड़े गए साल 2012 में भारतीय युवाओं के लिए एक कार्यक्रम वॉट एन आई यू मूवमेंट शुरू किया जिसका उद्देश्य भारत में भ्रष्टाचार को हराना है डॉक्टर कलाम जी के विचार से पहला प्रश्न पूछना विद्यार्थियों की सभी प्रमुख विशेषताओं में से एक है इसलिए छात्र सवाल पूछते रहो दूसरा अब्दुल कलाम बताते थे कि मेरे लिए नकारात्मक अनुभव जैसी कोई चीज नहीं है तीसरा जिंदगी और समय विश्व के तो सबसे बड़े अध्यापक हैं। जिंदगी हमें समय का सही उपयोग करना सिखाती है जब इस समय हमें जिंदगी की उपयोगिता बताता है जब हम दैनिक समस्याओं से घिरे रहते हैं, तो हम उन अच्छी चीजों को भूल जाते हैं कि हम में है जो कि हम में है इंसान को कठिनाइयों की आवश्यकता होती है क्योंकि तो सफलता का आनंद उठाने के लिए ये जरूरी है मैं हमेशा इस बात का स्वीकार करने के लिए तैयार था कि मैं कुछ चीजें नहीं बदल सकता जो कि आप अब पूरे मन से कोई काम करते हैं उन्हें आदि अधूरी खोखली सफलता मिलती है जो चारों ओर कड़वाहट भर देती है हमें प्रयत्न करना नहीं छोड़ना चाहिए और समस्या से नहीं हारना चाहिए डॉक्टर अब्दुल कलाम के साहित्यिक रूप से भी अपने विचारों को बहुत सारे पुस्तकों में सम्मानित किया है जिसमें से कुछ है ऑफ़ फायर इंडिया 2022, इंडिया 2020 ए विजन फॉर द न्यू मिलेनियम तथा इंग्रेंटिक माइंस अनलिशिंग द पावर विद विजन इंडिया इन पुस्तकों का कई भारत तथा विदेशी भाषाओं में अनुवाद हो चुका है इस प्रकार महान वैज्ञानिक भारत के भारत रत्न डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम को उनके जन्मदिन पर भारत सरकार ने विश्व विद्यार्थी दिवस के रूप में मनाया है मुझे यहाँ पर बोलने का मौका दिया गया इसलिए शुक्रिया थैंक यू सर धन्यवाद प्रगति आपने बहुत अच्छा बोला और इसी के साथ आज की ये आयोजन हम यहाँ पे समापन करना चाहेंगे और सभी बच्चों को जिनमें कुछ इनोवेशन है जो हमारी वैज्ञानिक डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम की जैसे सोचते हैं कुछ नए करने का सबको डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम स्टूडेंट साइंटिस्ट इनोवेशन अवार्ड 2023 के लिए नोमिनेशन फाइलिंग के लिए हम आमंत्रित करते हैं और सभी हमारे सभी अतिथि वर्ग जिन्होंने हमें आज ए पी जे अब्दुल कले कलाम के बारे में सुनने समझने और सीखने की ने सहायता दिया उनके व्याख्यानों से उन सभी को हम आभार व्यक्त करके मैं अंजन बनिक नेशनल चेयरमैन नेशनल काउंसिल रिसर्चर टीचर साइंटिस्ट इंडिया नेशनल काउंसिल स्टूडेंट साइंटिस्ट इंडिया और साइंस राइटर त्रिपुरा जो कि वेबनेट विज्ञान प्रसार डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से एफिलेटेड है और साथ में ही दासा इंडिया इस आयोजन की मुख्य इवेंट ऑर्गेनाइजर है दासा इंडिया जो कि त्रिपुरा सरकार की ओर से के हिसाब से रजिस्टर्ड है इस साइंस पॉपुलराइजेशन और साइंस कम्युनिकेटर की एक अंग के रूप में एक संगठन के रूप में काम कर रहा है इन सभी की ओर से आप सभी को आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ आप सभी स्वस्थ रहे और कलाम जी के सपनों को अपने जीवन में उतार कर देश को आत्मनिर्भर बनाने के लिए समर्पित